to another story time with OC Public Libraries. My name is Miss Amber and today we're going to read Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. And we're reading this with permission from Penguin Random House, so shout out to them. All right, friends, let's start with our opening song. I have a different song for you today. You may have heard it before, but I put some words to it. So listen up. Welcome to the library. Are you ready to go? Let's have an adventure. So let's start the show. All right, let's get started with our story. Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. Oh look, here's a letter. Dear people at Yellow House, Woof, can I be your dog? I am potty trained and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. I see you have a cat, but I'm willing to work with you. Who's a good dog? I am. Sincerely, Arfie. P.S. I know every house on Butternut Street, but I asked you first. Looks like you got a letter back. Let's see what it says. Dear Arfie, we're so sorry, but you cannot be our dog. Our cat is, um, allergic to dogs. Good luck in your search, the Honeywells. Dear Butcher Lady, can I be your dog? I think your butcher shop would be a great place for a puppy like me. I could keep the floor nice and clean. Arfie. This is what he got in his letter back. Look, pal, I've got a bone to pick with you. Last time I let a dog into my shop, a dozen meatballs went missing. Sorry, but there's no way I'm taking in a pooch. Veronica Shank, Butcher. P.S. No hard feelings? Enjoy these dry giblets, and good luck finding a home. Dear Fire Station Number 5, Can I be your dog? I can fetch your boots, plus, let's just say I know my way around a fire hydrant. I've sifted out every single one on Butternut Street. And yours is the shiniest. Arfie. Let's see what the fire station had to say. Butternut Street Fire Station. Dear applicant, thank you for your interest in working with the Butternut Street Fire Station. Unfortunately, the position of fire dog has already been filled. We will keep your letter on file. Best wishes in your search. Station number five. Dear Junkyard Guy, I'm not gonna lie, you're my next to last choice, but these past few days have been rough, rough, rough. So please, can I be your dog? I don't eat much and I can bark if people try to steal your junk and stuff. Hopefully yours, Arfi. Oh, this is the letter he got back. Dear Mutt, get lost. Oh no. Dear Last House on Butternut Street, can I be your dog? I see that your yard is full of weeds and your windows are broken and there's a funny smell, but I'm not picky, just lonely. Arfie. Oh no. Do you see the letter got returned? It says return to sender. Nobody at this address. What's he going to do now? Look, there's a letter that says to Arfie. Let's see what it says. Dear Arfie, can I be your person? I need a friend who will be with me no matter what. Snow, rain, heat, or gloom of night. And I see that you already know everyone on Butternut Street. I know you'll make a first class partner. With hugs and head scratches, Mitzi Whipple, letter carrier. P.S. If you agree, meet me at the big blue mailbox. Dear Mitzi, you know what? My tail has been wagging ever since I got your note. My answer is yes. Truly yours, Arfie. P.S. Woof. It looks like Arfie left us one more letter. Here's how you can help a homeless animal. Adopt a shelter animal instead of buying a pet. Volunteer at a shelter or a pet adoption event. Spay or neuter your pet so there will be fewer fur babies to find a home for. 
donate to your local animal shelter or a national animal advocacy group, such as American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, ASPCA.org, the Humane Society, humanesociety.org. Extend a helpful paw so all our animal friends can find forever homes. Party. And that was Can I Be Your Dog by Troy Cummings. I hope you enjoyed that story time, and I'll see you next time, friends. Bye.